All right. Welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Eric Levander, and I uh, work at Quanta Cloud Technology, and I'm here to talk to you about some of the key trends that we're seeing in the market right now, uh, more specifically how we as a born-in-the-cloud provider are pr uh, moving with the market to the edge and some of the opportunities, challenges, and, and uh, uh, trends that we're seeing as, as we do that. But first things first, uh, Quanta, uh, for those of you who don't know it, uh, is one of the powerhouses uh, of technology in, in, in the world, uh, one of the biggest, uh, largest corporations of, of, out of Taiwan, um, known for, of course, uh, being one the world's largest uh, uh, notebook bare bone manufacturer, um, but also do a lot of uh, solutions for AI, sorry, for AI, for automotive and for uh, industrial. What I represent is QCT, Quanta Cloud Technology, and what we do is infrastructure for the cloud. Uh, we've been uh, born in the cloud, we uh, grew up with the cloud, and we graduated with, with, with the cloud, and our journey is really one of 15 years of, of growth. Overall, we're about 15 billion, sorry, uh, 13 billion dollars, uh, which is uh, about a third of quanta overall. Uh, we've been growing not just in, in, in revenue over this period of time, but we've also been growing quite dramatically together with our, our customers. Uh, we've had to develop bigger uh, and larger uh, value propositions and competence uh, in terms of uh, providing when we work with the most advanced customers on, on the planet, uh, the hyperscalers. And that is really the competence that we're taking as we expand going forward. A lot of what, what we're doing is uh, completely engineering driven. A lot of the, our investments uh, resides in the engineering department. And as I said, servers, networking, storage, that's the foundational parts. But to be a partner in this market, we have to have uh, equally many resource and competence in software low-level uh, BIOS, BMC, and uh, as well as the, the workload space. And system level, far beyond just, just doing servers and the boxes, we have to rack, we have to validate, we have to test, and we have to provide that in ultra high volumes uh, to the most demanding customers in the world. Now, that's just a bit of background on, on who we are and where, where we come from. Uh, what, what I was going to talk really about today is what's going on with the cloud and how the cloud is expanding out into the edges. Uh, there's a lot of buzzwords in this, in, in both the uh, talking about the edge, the AI, the cloud, the uh, the, the next waves. Um, we see it in, in three stages, um, and we do see it as something that we, as a cloud provider coming from inside the cloud, can address a bit differently than what other companies uh, that works from, from a traditional IT perspective can do. Um, and when we start uh, on Unwrapping this, uh, there are three different types of edges that, that we are servicing and that we are going after. Um, of course, it's the CSPs, the, the cloud service providers, whether they are hyperscalers, next wave, or new wave, because we're seeing a tremendous amount of, of new wave uh, customers coming in and building, for instance, the AI GPU cloud. Um, it's the more traditional telco edge, where maybe not as fast in, 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 in what they're doing, but equally 
kind of important to the overall solution for, for, for end users. And the end users themselves, the enterprises, uh, they're definitely part of, of what we need to focus on as we extend the hyperscaler kind of experience to the edge. And if we, we go through these just kind of one by one, the first part, the, 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 the CSPs, the cloud service providers, what, what we're seeing is a tremendous and massive AI GPU build out. Um, and the game that is being played is very much a time to market and the capacity game. Uh, there, is, uh, there is capacity being built out before the actual uh, demand has been generated or the orders are in. Um, of course, a lot of this is, is controlled or, or the keys to this whole is held by, by NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA is a key part of, of uh, the build out and that's why we're really, really proud to be uh, the launch partner of the next generation of uh, uh, GPU servers uh, based on the super chip Grace Hopper that uh, is just getting ready for, for mass production. Uh, it's currently sampling um, and uh, kind of, I, I don't think I've ever seen a, a greater interest in any product that I've been part of, of launching ever. The um, thing to remember in this or to keep in mind is that the GPU cloud has in many respects been, been um, built out on a one set of uh, server or server technologies. Uh, this is gonna shift going forward as we see it. There, the roadmaps will branch off into many more versions and it's gonna be important that uh, we as a supplier have a broad roadmap and that we cover all those bases because the AI cloud is not gonna be one cloud anymore, it's gonna be one for each type of verticals or many types of verticals and you gotta be capable of, of serving all of those. Um, as a company, we also need to be, you know, we will continue to work very tightly with the cloud service providers for this uh, build out one to one. The second part of, of, of the edge, which is very different in, in nature and, and a bit slower, but nevertheless really important is the telco edge. Uh, it has worked its horizontalization uh, over the last like 10 years. It was NFV. Um, it's gone cloud native, but it's basically taken on the, 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 should I say, the easy workloads, the core, the OSS, the BSS, um, and uh, now it's up against the really, really tough workload of, of radio access in, uh, in, in the mobile networks. And their traditional server architecture is, is, is uh, uh, kind of facing ASIC implementations of, of uh, uh, radio access that are purpose built and have been over generations optimized. So it's not going to be good enough to just build a server, uh, to use any server. We are seeing very, very specialized, uh, high density, um, short form factor and, and uh, environmentally kind of uh, different servers than, than what, we, what we see in traditional data centers. The other part that, that is important is that you gotta be able to, to understand and optimize for, for radio. So the radio competence in this is important. For, for, from our perspective, what we've done is we've taken uh, a number of years ago a FlexRAN license from Intel and we've developed our own uh, FlexRAN uh, solution that is hard and, and, and makes us kind of capable of, of providing a competence when we work with the big customers on implementing, you know, uh, building block solutions. 
And the collaborations is very different in this uh, because you, you have to work tightly with the lead ISVs and systems integrators, and they are very different than, than, than the cloud space. So that's another kind of challenge as the cloud branches out from hyperscaler public cloud out into the edges. Um, the final kind of part of the edge as, as we, that, that we're kind of going after, and we're not going after everything on the market. We know that our, as, as, as uh, our heritage kind of tells you, we, we, we work very well with big, uh, high volume customers. And, and that is what we will continue to do. We will continue to work with big, high volume customers, but in each of these different segments. Uh, we can't be everything for, for everyone. Uh, that's that's uh, other, other people's job to be. But what we can do is build exactly what a few very high volume uh, players can do. Now, when you get to the em uh, enterprises, uh, what they are doing is basically, they're being overwhelmed with AI or 5G capabilities or cloud overall capabilities that enables them not just to run their IT data center, but actually run their question how they do their core business. So whether you are a manufacturing house in logistics, agriculture, or healthcare, AI and 5G will give you capabilities to do, drive your, your core business in new ways. Um, that means we have to provide an infrastructure that is fundamentally workload aware, uh, an infrastructure that can, can adapt for the different workloads that, that are being, being uh, deployed. Again, it forces us to have a broad roadmap, but not of completely done products. We do that by having platform level uh, roadmaps that can branch off into many different directions. Again, solution competence, and I'll, I'll, I'll um, come back to this in, in, a, in a couple of slides. Solution competence, understanding how hardware, software, systems integration actually ties together <laughs> with what these customers are doing. It's important also for, for a hardware provider as our, uh, like ourselves. Uh, we cannot just be um, content by, by providing uh, boxes of, of servers. We have to invest and continue, continue to invest, and that's what we're doing. And again, there are different collaborations in this area. Uh, the systems integrators that know about retail are very different than the systems integrators that know how to optimize um, manufacturing or, or logistics. And we just have to manage this ecosystem of ecosystems. And I, I said, uh, I told you about solutions. What, what we've been doing in order for us to both gain competence in this area as well as, as, well as offer the market something that is really useful is our QPod. It's a platform on demand. It's a reference architecture for an adaptive workload environment uh, for HPC and, and, and AI. Um, of course, server, networking, storage, and complete management software. Um, we might not drive this as you know, our core offering to the market, but it is how we can be a, uh, a um, strong and a good partner to the key players out in the market uh, that we by gaining the experience from this. This is a hardened, pro it's a reference architecture um, and we're also making a hardened product which is our private wireless solution where we've gone all the way taking the, the FlexRAN um, code that, uh, from Intel, the license, and implemented not only a rock-solid core, but also baseband units, of course, 
uh, front hall access, uh, front hall uh, gateway that serves indoor and outdoor uh, radios. Again, that, that gives us the capability to match our customers' requirements, not just in bending metal, but actually in, in driving solution. And this is a journey that we are on, and it's a journey that we will continue to, to, to be on because it makes us a better provider of the high volume hardware uh, and, and the, how we interact with, with our customers in, in, that, in those markets. Final uh, piece of, uh, I think we saw uh, before I, I got on stage, uh, liquid cooling. There is no doubt in anyone's mind that liquid cooling is going to be really, really important going forward because if there's one thing we know is that the silicon is getting hotter. And uh, we've been in this for quite some time with our big hyperscaler customers. And what we've developed is a, uh, an offering for the edge customers where you take a, uh, edge customers that may not have liquid installed in their data centers. So we have a self-contained um, self-contained rack called cool rack where you actually uh, can put it in into any data center it has its its own liquid uh, integrated and you just instead of, of having uh, well you use your your uh, uh, cool plates and you connect it with quick disconnect uh, couplings and uh, and off you go and that can can stand in a brownfield installation Right now, we're up at 85 kilowatts. We will do more than that going forward, and we will be moving into immersive cooling as well. So taking the, uh, the learnings from the public cloud and packaging it into solutions that, that are useful for the, um, uh, for the edge customers. Um, starting to, to wrap up, uh, the... Uh, Design considerations that we are putting into everything that we do right now. Um, I've kind of touched on, 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 on most of this, but all products will have to have capability of, of, of running AI in one shape or another. And that's kind of what we're uh, preparing them for. Um, capacity in terms of volume. So our manufacturing is really, really important. The design capacity so that we actually can branch off into all those roadmap vectors that, that we need to support is really important that we made all those decisions, the, uh, these uh, investments. This is stuff that, that we did a couple of years ago already. As you can imagine, if you want to test thousands of racks, uh, it's not just uh, a matter of floor space, it's actually a matter of, of having uh, the electricity uh, enough uh, supply from, from PG&E and others. Cooling becomes um, kind of uh, table stakes. We are gonna have to have cooling and uh, cooling solutions that are different in um, going forward. And uh, one way of, of managing diversity of, of, of designs is, is modularity. And, and we support DTC HMS uh, with the x86 community and, and MGX from, from the NVIDIA community. Just summarizing what I've uh, been talking about, um, the cloud is moving to the edges and the edges are not just uh, one edge anymore, there are several edges with very different requirements. Uh, AI is everywhere, capacity is critical, and modular design. And with that, I'm uh, going to thank you for listening and uh, invite you to meet the future together with uh, QCT. Uh, we have in our booth the next generation of Intel architecture on display. Uh, we are, as I, told, as I said, sampling the next generation of in, uh, artificial intelligence from NVIDIA to the broad market. And we are uh, hiring a whole bunch of people 
to work with this on the technology side, on the go-to-market side, and on the marketing side. And with that, if anyone have any questions, I'd be happy to, to address that. And it's really hard to see you guys. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'm gonna gonna thank you all for for, for listening and uh, welcome you to our our booth and uh, come and, and talk to us anytime. All right. Thank you. <laughs>